Hey everyone, Joe Grand here with a hack to turn the DEF CON 27 badge into a simple social distancing reminder. The DEF CON 27 badge is the official badge for DEF CON, which is the world's largest hacker conference held every summer in Las Vegas, except for this year, 2020, uh, was the first time it was held virtually because of the coronavirus. The badge is a fully open source, wearable, artistic, electronic device, and the main purpose of the badge at DEF CON was for attendees to participate in what I call a badge quest which was really a way for them to go and experience different things around DEF CON. Each badge communicates with other badges using a not so often heard of wireless communication technology called NFMI or Near Field Magnetic Induction. Uh, it's a short range data transfer mechanism usually used for hearing aids or for headphones and other personal area network applications. I thought it'd be cool to modify the badge, which was, you know, originally designed just for this one-time event of four days at DEF CON uh, into something that, you know, potentially could be more useful to people during this global pandemic. So the hardware design for this badge contains a few different subsections. Down here we have the microcontroller. This is an NXP KL27 ARM Cortex M0 Plus. This stores the program code or the firmware that controls all the rest of the badge functionality. Over here, we have an LED driver. This is a Texas Instruments LP5569 that lets us control uh, each of these six LEDs. Up here is our piezo element to play our various sounds. Over on the left side is the NFMI uh, communication area. So here is our antenna up here. Down here is the actual radio transceiver with some of the associated components. In the center, we have our battery. This provides power to the badge. This is a standard CR2032 three volt lithium coin cell that you can get at you know any convenience store or hardware store. This connector up here is the programming interface to let us load new code into the microcontroller. It's an ARM serial wire debug interface that's supported by lots of different types of programming and debugging hardware. Uh, and this particular footprint is in a tag connect form. Down here is our four pin connection for uh, the standard serial port interface to the microcontroller. Even in its original unmodified form directly from the conference, the badge will already uh, beep or blink LEDs depending on the state of the badge quest. But with some firmware changes, we can actually make this into a much more effective social distancing reminder. What I did first is removed all of the gameplay functionality uh, in order to simplify the code. Then I change the code to always play an alert sound and always blink all of the LEDs on the badge anytime there's another badge detected within its range. And then finally, and possibly the most important part of this, is uh, I added a badge log, which keeps track of all of the unique identifiers of each badge that comes in contact with this particular badge. This could be helpful for contact tracing uh, and can be accessed through the badge's serial port interface. The badge log is stored in internal flash memory of the microcontroller on the badge, which is a non-volatile memory, which means if we take the battery out of the device, remove power from it, the contents of that badge log are gonna remain there. So here's a demonstration with three badges. This badge at the top has its serial port connected to a 1.8 volt serial to USB adapter, which is connected to my computer and that's gonna allow us to interact with the badge and uh, take a look at the badge log. So I'm gonna put in the battery. We see on the screen, we get some boot information. And because our USB to serial adapter is connected, it's automatically detected. And now we're in this interactive command-based system. So we can press H and we can see our current list of commands. And uh, what's been added from the original version is some of these commands, displaying the badge log, clearing the badge log. So we can actually take a look at the badge log and we can see that they're all Fs. All Fs means everything is erased. Uh, so no badges have been detected from this badge yet. Now, if I go and connect these other two, put that one in, Put this one in after their little boot up stage. We should start to see some communication happen over here. So what we're gonna do is actually the receive packet mode, because we're in this interactive mode, uh, we need to be in a state that we can actually read the contents. And here we actually see, and we can hear, communication happening between all of these three badges. And we're seeing the data packet being received 
we see the unique identifier of that particular badge and then there's some unused bytes as well so these unused bytes could be you know potentially used in the future for extra functionality if you wanted to but you can see there are two different serial numbers here two different unique identifiers corresponding to the two different badges we have here that are talking to this one of course we don't see it but there's a badge log being set in this one and a badge log being set in this one using the unique identifiers of both of these and then for this one both of those so every badge is doing the same thing once the badge has finished processing all of the different packets that it has received we can then hit h and take a look and now let's actually look at the badge log and see what we have so in this case uh we have read a lot of badges but you can see they're just alternating between the 9f and the 8b uh, the way this badge log is set up is that if you just hold one badge next to the same badge over and over again, instead of it just filling up with the same unique identifier, uh, the code knows, okay, I just read that particular unique identifier. If I see that one again, I'm not going to log it again. So it basically doesn't add to the badge log until it reads a new unique ID that it didn't just previously read. So in this case, you can see it's alternating back and forth because we had the badges held up to this particular badge for a long time. It's just reading one and the other and the other and the other. The badge log is actually 31 entries long and each entry is gonna be this 32-bit unique identifier. Um, so I have things set up in a ring buffer. So I have this badge log index up here at the top. Right now it's at 25. So if we get to the bottom of the buffer, instead of just losing all potential contacts, uh, the buffer will start again back at one. So I keep track of the badge log and let the user know. So now we're at number 25. So in the case of if you know a lot of badges were read, uh, we at least know which ones were the most recent ones versus which ones were earlier on uh, in, the, you know, in the process. As with any project, there's gonna be trade-offs. The badge's maximum communication distance is about one foot using the standard off-the-shelf antenna that's on this badge. That was fine for DEF CON, but it's well below the recommended uh, social distancing spacing by health organizations around the world, which is usually between three feet and six feet, sometimes even more. Increasing the size of the antenna uh, might actually give you a longer range, possibly up to three feet or one meter. And that might make things a little more practical for like a real world situation. I'm not aware of any larger antennas, so that's gonna be something that you'll probably have to hand wind yourself or have custom made. On the other hand, even though one foot isn't that great, I did find that this hack works really well with kids who typically you know, don't pay as much attention to social distancing or they might be too young to really be aware of their spacing. If you're interested in learning more details about the DEF CON 27 badge or how to load new code onto the badge, or maybe you wanna use the badge as a building block for one of your own designs, you can go to my website at grandideastudio.com and search for DEF CON 27 badge. You'll find links to videos, schematics, building materials, uh, manufacturing information, test information, programming information, uh, even the circuit board designs, which generally haven't been released in the past for DEF CON badges for fear of people counterfeiting badges. But we have the native Altium files and Gerber plots available to make it easier for you to take this existing platform uh, and build your own. Once again, I'm Joe Grand signing off. Hope everybody out there stays safe and uh, thanks for watching. DEF CON 27 badge social distancing reminder hack successful.